We've created this video on Show Me Tell Me Questions to help you understand and learn them. Hi, I'm Ian. And I'm Doug. We're going to run through all the Show Me Tell Me questions. On your test, you're going to be asked to do one show and one tell. So we're going to run through all of them for you now. Good luck, guys. These first seven questions are the Show Me questions. These are the questions the examiners are going to ask you to do on the move. Before we show you the questions, let's just go through a few handy tips to help you get them right. Number one, you need to keep your eyes on the road as much as possible. If you do need to look down, just a very quick glance like we're looking in our mirrors. Number two, don't try and answer the questions if you're dealing with something else that's on the road. The examiner won't mind if you wait a second and deal with what's happening in front of you before you answer the question. Number three, if you're not sure, you can ask the examiner to pull over on the left in a safe, convenient place. Once you've pulled over and worked out how to do it, you can then pull away again and demonstrate it on the move. Okay Ian, when it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd wash the rear windscreen? Yeah, no problem, I'll just get over the brow of this hill first if that's okay. Absolutely. Um, so I just push away this right stalk. You can see it's cleaning in the back window. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay, when it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd wash and clean the front windscreen, please? Yep. So what I need to do is just pull the right stalk towards me and hold it for a few seconds. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay, when it's safe to do so, yep. can you show me how you'd switch on your dipped headlights? Yep. So two clicks to the right turns them on, and then two clicks back to the left turns them back off again. Excellent, thank you very much. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd set the rear demister? Sure, I've just got to press this button here um, and then to turn it off again if I need to, I just press the same button again. Thank you very much. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd operate the horn, please? Sure, um, I just need to press the middle of the steering wheel until I hear it beep. Thank you. When it's safe to do so, Ian, can you show me how you'd demist the front window? Sure, so I've got to turn all three of the dials to the right. Once I've cleared it, I need to turn the fan back down and turn the heat back down. Good, thank you. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd open and close a side window? Uh, just press this button, so the window's open, and then I just put it back up again to close it. Thank you very much. We are now going to run through the tell me questions. Okay, Ian, can you tell me how you would check the brakes are working before starting a journey? What you need to do is press the brake pedal once the engine's running. It shouldn't feel spongy or slack. Whilst we're driving and using the brakes, you shouldn't feel the car pulling to the left or right. Brilliant, thank you. Tell me where you'd find the information for the recommended tyre pressures for this car and how the tyre pressures should be checked. Uh, we'd find them in our user manual, which is normally in our glove box. You also might find it on a sticker behind the driver's door and sometimes on a sticker behind the petrol cap. You want to check them using a reliable pressure gauge, checking them when they're cold and remembering to put the dust cap back on afterwards. Can you tell me how you would make sure that your head restraint is correctly adjusted so it provides the best protection in the event of a crash? We need to make sure that our eye line's in the middle. So that's about there for me. Um, on some cars it moves closer and further away, so we get it as close to our head as possible, but without actually touching. Thank you. Tell me how you would check the tyres to ensure that they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. I'm going to check the entire outside of this tyre for any cuts or bulges. Um, we also need to make sure we've got 1.6 millimetres of tread depth across the central three quarters of the tyre and the entire outer circumference. In simple English, all of the grooves in the middle three quarters of the tyre need to be at least 1.6 millimetres deep and we check all the way around the tyre in the middle three quarters. Okay Ian, can you tell me how you would check that the headlights and tail lights are working? You don't need to exit the vehicle. Sure, so what we would do is we'd turn the lights on two clicks. Once we've turned them on, we'd walk around the car and check all the bulbs are working. We'd also see on the dash that there was a little symbol saying our lights were on. Thank you. Okay Ian, can you now tell me how you'd know if there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system? When we start the car, an ABS light will come up on your dash. If it stays on, or if it comes on whilst you're driving, it might mean that you've got a problem with your ABS. 
Excellent, thank you. Can you now tell me how you would check that the directional indicators are working? You don't need to exit the vehicle. So what we'd need to do is turn the ignition on um, and then we could put the left indicator on, get out and check that the left three indicator bulbs are working, come back and put the right indicator on and check that the right three indicator bulbs are working. To do all of the six bulbs at the same time, we could use the hazard light switch to save a bit of time. Thank you very much. Okay, Ian, can you tell me how you check the brake lights are working on this car? Absolutely, we need to turn the ignition on. Once we turn the ignition on, I can put my foot on the brake pedal and make use of reflections in my mirror, see if they're working. If there's somebody with me, I can ask them to stand at the back of the car and they can check whilst I press the brake pedal. Thank you. Okay, can you tell me how you'd check the power assisted steering is working before starting a journey? Well, during a journey, if it becomes heavy, that might suggest there's a problem. There's two checks we can do. When we start the car, if we put a little bit of pressure on the steering wheel before we start the engine, as you start it, you'll feel the steering wheel go a little bit loose, you'll feel a little bit of movement. The other check is as we move off for the first time, we can turn the wheel a little bit and it should feel light, not heavy. You'd know about it if it wasn't working. Thank you. Tell me how you'd switch on the rear fog lights and explain when you would use them. You don't need to exit the vehicle. Okay, what we need to do is turn our headlights on by doing two clicks to the right. I'll then press the fog light button. We'd use the fog lights when visibility is less than 100 meters. We must remember when visibility gets better to turn them off again so we don't mislead other road users. Thank you. Tell me how you would switch your headlight from dipped to main beam and explain how you would know the main beam is on. When our dip beams are on, we can then just push this stalk away. A little blue symbol comes up on the dash. To turn them off again, we just pull it back towards us. Thank you. Could you open the bonnet for me, please, Ian? Yep, no problem. Okay, now I need to find the bonnet catch. Once I've got it, pull the bonnet up, use the bonnet stay. Now the bonnet's open. Okay, thank you. Can you now tell me how you check the engine oil level, please? Absolutely. The engine oil dipstick is here. Uh, we'd pull it out, wipe it off, put it back in again and then pull it out and check the minimum and maximum marks. I'm just going to show that to you. So we'll pull it out. I've got a cloth here so you wipe it all the way down. Be very careful because it can be quite hot. We dip it back in. Give it a little twirl. Pull it out and I can see it's about just over half full. Now the bonnet is open, tell me how you would check that the engine has sufficient engine coolant. Absolutely, this is the engine coolant bottle. On the back of this one we've got a minimum and maximum mark like this picture. Uh, we just check that it's between those two markings and we never open it when it's hot because we may burn our hands. Thank you very much. Whilst the bonnet is open, tell me how you would check that you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. Absolutely. So this is the brake fluid bottle. On the side we've got a minimum and maximum mark again. We just check that it's between the two. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching our video on Show Me Tell Me Questions. We hope you liked it. Do remember all cars very slightly differ with how you control things, so do ask your instructor about theirs. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, explore the rest of our videos, and if there's any videos you'd like us to make, please comment below. We'll do our best to help you out. The more likes, subscribers, and comments we get, the more videos we can make to help you. Thanks for watching.